Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for tuning into this week's episode of Breakdown. Today, we will be talking all about Coquina. Now, I don't know a ton about these kind of rocks. I first got my hands on a couple when I went down to Florida a few years ago, and ever since then, I've been fascinated by these rocks and pretty much just kind of fell in love with them. And I'm pretty sure you can see why, because these things are incredible. From what I know about Coquina, it's primarily made up of fossilized shells known as Donex clams. Now, most of this is what would be considered fossilized debris, but occasionally you will have a nice one like this one right here or the one along the side. They often range in color, and I hear they're also edible, but I think these guys might be a little expired. Now, if you're like me, you start to get curious about how this rock holds itself together, because it's not the strongest thing ever, but it also doesn't fall apart easy. So that's when I went to my little handy dandy book here, which I'll show you in a second, and read that Coquina is actually held together by the calcium carbonate that gets deposited by water as it runs through and in between the shelves that gather up on the shoreline. So that's pretty neat to find that out. So that about does it for all our verbal information. I'll get to showing you the closer view in that book here in a second. But if you guys know anything about Coquina that I didn't say here, feel free to leave some information down in the comments. That way we can all learn a little bit more about it. Because filming this video is kind of piquing my interest in them again. So we'll see what all we can find out from our books and from what you guys have to say about it. And yeah, I think it'll just be really fun. But without further ado, here's that book that I use and also the closer look of this amazing piece of Coquina.